What if I told you that this could save your life? I know it's not the most glamorous thing to think about, but hear me out. Your pee is way more than just waste. It's like your body's report card, sending you messages about how your health is. It's your way of making sure that things are going well inside your body. Take this one for example, hydrated and happy. This one, mm, not so much. It's time to grab a water bottle. Pee can be a variety of colors from champagne colored pee to neon green urine. And today we're gonna dive deep into what it's trying to tell us, starting with this jar right here. But first, if you are new here, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant. I specialize in women's health and gynecology. You're watching In The Pink and on this channel, we talk about women's health, pregnancy, and good health in general. So hit subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so before we dive into the rainbow of pee possibilities, let's talk about where this all begins, which is your kidneys. These little bean-shaped organs right here are basically your body's cleanup crew. Here's how it works. Your kidneys are like your body's filter, so they sift through about 50 gallons of blood every single day, and they're pulling out the bad stuff like toxins and also extra water and waste, and they're keeping the good stuff like nutrients and blood cells circulating in your body. After your kidneys filter out your blood, the urine collects in your bladder, and then when nature calls, you get this. A mix of about 95% water and 5% of everything that you don't want hanging around in your blood, and that is your urine. And actually, believe it or not, it's a pretty efficient way to keep your body running smoothly. Most of the time, if it's a pale yellow, like an amber see-through straw colored, that's what we consider normal looking urine. But when things start to look or smell a little funky, that's your body's way of waving a red flag and letting you know that something isn't right. Fun fact, people have been analyzing pee for thousands of years. Ancient Egyptian doctors used to check its color, smell, and even taste to diagnose illnesses. Nice. Why would they taste pee? Because that was one of the ways to identify diabetes back then. Diabetes made your pee smell and taste sweet. Thank goodness for modern medicine, right? So now we know what urine is and why it's important. But What's normal and when should you be concerned? So let's break it down. So most of the time, your urine is gonna be some varying shade of clear yellow, anywhere from pale yellow here to dark yellow like this. So why does it change? Now it's usually due to how hydrated you are. If your urine is really pale like this, it means that you are well hydrated and your urine has a lot of water in it, which makes your urine more dilute and pale. Now this darker yellow urine shade, this often means that you're dehydrated. Along with filtration, your kidneys are in charge of regulating water. Your body doesn't wanna waste water. So after your blood has been filtered, if you're dehydrated, your kidneys will actually reabsorb more water back into your blood, and so your urine becomes more concentrated. And you can tell this because your urine will be darker and it smells a little bit stronger. If you notice this, it's time to grab your water bottle and get more hydrated. Now, if your urine is completely clear, I mean, if it looks like water like this, it means that you are really, really hydrated and your urine becomes super dilute. When you see that, it's okay to cut back on your water intake. It's rare, but it can be dangerous to drink too much water. But what happens when your pee isn't yellow at all? Let's talk about the outliers. Let's start off with orange pee or bright fluorescent yellow looking pee. So what would be going on here? It could be dehydration, but it could also be from things that you are consuming. So synthetic vitamins, certain medications with dyes in them. In fact, there's a common medication, it's over the counter, that people take when they have burning with urination called phenoazopyridine. And that can make your urine really orange and it can stain your underwear. Orange urine might also mean liver or bile duct issues. Or if you're like me and love carrots, it might just be too much beta carotene in your diet. What's up, doc? Let's get back to this jar right here. So when I was five, I had my first meal that involved beets and I loved them and I ate a lot of them that night. The next morning, however, I woke up and I used the bathroom and then I screamed in horror because my toilet bowl was full of red. I thought I was dying. Now there was dying involved. The beets that I ate the night before sort of dyed my urine red. 
But by that afternoon, my pee was back to its normal yellow color. But if you haven't been eating beets or blackberries or something like that, and your urine is red, it could mean that you have blood in your urine. A warning sign of kidney stones, kidney or bladder infection, or even bladder cancer. That's definitely something that you're gonna want to talk to your medical provider about. Now, ladies, when we are on our periods, you will see blood in the toilet when you urinate. We call that blood contaminant. You aren't peeing bloody urine. Your menstruation mixes with your urine while you're peeing, so in the toilet, it could look like blood in your urine. But as long as when the period ends, so does the blood in the toilet, then that's probably menstruation contaminant. But if your period ends and you continue to have blood in the toilet, make sure to get that checked out. Next, let's talk about brown or Coca-Cola colored urine. This is usually tied to severe dehydration, but it can also point to liver conditions like hepatitis, where your urine contains bilirubin, which is a pigmented component of bile. It might also mean a condition called rhabdomyolysis, where muscle breaks down and leaks into your urine. And then there's also certain kidney conditions that can cause dark brown urine. What about green pea? Yep. That happens too. It's rare, but when it happens, it's usually from food dyes or medications or actually a bacteria called Pseudomonas. Asparagus can also turn your urine green as well as give it a strong, unpleasant odor. And in super rare cases, green pea can be from an inherited condition called familial hypercalcemia, which means high calcium. What happens when your pee is yellow, but it's cloudy? If you notice that your urine is opaque, it might mean that you have a urinary tract infection or kidney stones, and it's definitely worth getting checked out if you have it consistently. And then there is this. This is yellow urine, but it's frothy, foamy urine, which might mean that there's protein in your pee, which could be from consuming too much protein or if there's kidney damage. If it looks like this regularly, don't ignore it. Again, make sure to get that checked out by your medical provider. So, so even though technically your pee is one of your body's wastes, it isn't a waste of time to pay attention to it. You can tell a lot about what is going on in your body. Now, what if you are not peeing at all or peeing way more than usual? Both of those are actually red flags. Too little pee or no pee at all could be a sign of severe dehydration, a blockage, or even kidney failure. And then peeing too much, that might be a symptom of diabetes, overactive bladder, or even certain medications. And then there's the symptom of feeling the urge to pee, but then when you sit down on the toilet, very little comes out. That could be a symptom of a urinary tract infection or even pregnancy. Now, if peeing burns or hurts that's usually a sign of a urinary tract infection or an infection or inflammation on your vulva. Now in men, it could also point to sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea or chlamydia. If there is burning with blood and sharp low back pain, that might be a kidney stone scraping their way through or it could be a kidney infection. These are all symptoms that you definitely want to get checked out. You don't want to ignore them. So when should you call your medical provider? Here are a few key warning signs to look out for. First, blood in your urine could be red or it could be pink. Cloudy or frothy urine that doesn't go away right away. Brown or Coca-Cola colored urine. Painful urination or burning. Significant changes on how much or how often you pee. Frothy or bubbly pee. Or generally any other symptoms that you are concerned about. Okay, so far we've learned that your pee can reveal a lot about your health. But what if I told you that one day every trip to the bathroom could be like a little mini doctor's visit? Smart toilets are already being tested in Japan that can analyze your urine in real time. That is so cool. They are working on toilets that are able to detect hydration levels, infections, or even early signs of cancer, all before you even notice a symptom. Here's how it works. Sensors inside the toilet analyze the chemical makeup of your urine, looking for markers like protein levels, sugar, or bacteria. Then the data gets sent to an app on your phone, giving you instant insight into your health. It's like having a doctor in your bathroom, except no awkward small talk. Imagine getting a notification that says possible kidney issues detected. That's the kind of early warning system that could save lives. And it doesn't stop there. Pair this tech with personalized medicine and your toilet could recommend lifestyle changes, hydration goals, or even suggest what vitamins you need more of, all tailored to your body. Of course, with any new tech, there are questions. What happens to all that data? Who owns it? And how do we make sure that it's used responsibly? So as this tech evolves, we need to find a balance between 
between innovation and your protection. And on that note, I want to remind you that this video is not meant to diagnose or treat you. It's purely for educational purposes only. Make sure to always talk to your own medical provider about any concerns that you have about your urine and also about your health. But if it was informative, make sure to subscribe to Diane in the Pink and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all of our future videos. But here is the big takeaway. Listening to your body doesn't have to be complicated. Even small things like noticing changes in your urine can make a huge difference in catching potential health issues early. So the next time you pee, don't just flush. Take a moment to ask yourself, what is my body trying to tell me? It could be the simplest way to stay healthier longer. Cheers. Just kidding. <laughs> It was gross. <laughs>